the project is to install two 450 poly ducts from the job site here in Fleetwood across to the Presol site, which is approximately 1.4 kilometres away. Uh, within that, there'll be four sub ducts which carry uh, 125 uh, millimetre diameter um, pipes to support three electric cables which are coming across three phases of the cable and also we're, uh, we've got a 48 fibre telecoms cable and uh, a 19 pair copper cable coming across. Well initially the, the two cables what we are replacing here lie on the seabed and they've been there to sit for 60 years and one of them's been damaged and uh, electricity Northwest are quite concerned that if one's gone down, the other one has been there the same period of time and come up with the same issues. The Presol site is basically a lot of farmland, agricultural, um, which is, consists of a lot of tracks and small access. So we have to install culverts for lay this pipe underneath so we can keep access roads open and not interfere with the farming operations. Now, as a, far as an alternative, it's a 15 mile round trip of the river wire to the next crossing. And uh, open cut road, you know, um, civil's work. Uh, it'd have to cross the bridge over uh, on the river wire. Then you got into the problems with um, how do you get it across the bridge? Do you go underneath it with ducks? And it's just would not be commonsensical to trench 15 mile round when we can drill across for 1.4 kilometres. So. The process of directional drilling in this particular case is we have a 250 ton drilling rig on site here. And what we do is we do a pilot shot from the site here in Fleetwood across to Presol and this is steered by a steam engineer and using a gyro guidance system. There's a pattern what the steam engineer lays out and that's where the figures are for the driller to, to meet. So this profile is drawn and he meets these figures and we drill across in basic terms till we come to an exit GPS position and that's where we exit. Then basically that assembly is taken off and we put on what's known as a hole opener, which we go up in uh, stages of this. This is the first sweep through. So basically this hole opener is put on and then behind it will be drill rods connected to it. So we've got a constant string all the way through the hole. So we ream through in this instance the first ream was, uh, was 450 mil. and then it comes back through to here and the rods are displaced from this side. Okay, proceed. Okay, proceeding. That's it, we're reaming. At the moment we're pulling um, about 30 ton. That's, that's pulling steadily up the beam at the moment. And uh, you can see we've got a combination of the rotation which is currently about uh, 55 kilometers, meters. And um, we're cutting the hole of a, of a 20 inch hole up there. A 20 inch diameter of a, a hole up if you like. The actual drilling operation itself has taken in the region of three and a half months 
for the two to be completed. That's taking the that's taking out the downtime and uh, the starting, obviously, preparation of the groundworks around here on both sides, which is time consuming. So overall, it's you'd be talking ballpark three and a half months as far as drilling operations go. And we've had um, some good feedback. And we've got a lot of dock walkers here and people are just walking the, you know, past the site and, uh, and we've had really good compliments from them. Initially when we first moved on to site, obviously they did have seen it as a major disturbance to them, but we went to great efforts to keep people informed and put acoustic barriers and fencing all around and try to keep disturbance to the minimum. Um, we kept to a 12 hour shift, which was in the constraints of what we could have done. We tried to encourage our neighbours to come and have a look and we'll take them round and explain to them what's going on. And, uh, but we've got a, we now got a good relationship with them, so. There is uh, 144 joints of pipe in the hole. Uh, the shot being uh, nearly 1,400 metres long. Uh, so we've got 144 of these to rain. Okay, we'll have to stand by two minutes, please. Obviously, health and safety is foremost on this site. It's a very much a busy working site with a lot of machine operations and a lot of issues full stop, whether it be pits full of mud or... So health and safety is the top of the list, obviously. Us as OCU, we take it incredibly serious, probably a lot more than other companies. Absolutely, Rob. And then when we continue that till it comes out the side, the rig side. We break that reamer off and then we put the next size reamer on which was a 26 inch reamer when that takes us up to the 650 mil diameter bore we want then once we've done the same again by continuous string and that comes through we uh, we then put on a swab which is a proving exercise and clears the bore we then repeat that operation twice and then what we do is we attach the 1.4 kilometer a pipe which has been welded over in the pre-sole uh, part of the job and then we pull that pipe through from the pre-sole to Fleetwood. Back, Ronnie and then Pat. Yeah, go ahead. You good to go, Ronnie, when we when we get it up for you?
get him when that and then empty the recycler at the same time aren't we otherwise we're we getting him back well done Ronnie hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, Ronnie, are we going to get a pint? Yeah. Are we going to we'll get a pint? I think we'll get a pint, yeah. yeah. Going for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, and you're buying. <laughs> Go on, I can put up with that. Right. Now, the land is going to be put back to its original state as we took photographs before and uh, all the roadways what come into here, the little pathways, they'll be all put back as it was before. Once we remove from this side, six months down the line, there won't be a trace of us. Once everything's been reinstated and all the growth has grown back, nobody will ever know we've been here. Everything is buried, connected underground, and you'd have great difficulty realising where we've actually worked. In total, we may have, on turnover, must have had up to 20 men on this. There's a lot behind it. There's logistics and everything else people wouldn't really be aware of, but it's everybody together. It's a big team effort. No one man's ever pulled that pipe across that river anyway. Certainly not twice. <laughs> 